So, Halloween costume this year is this, except we're gonna be the cow and not the duck. Nothing against the duck, but everything against the duck. Lately, I've been so lost, but then you walk into the room. I have some yarn. Game plan is to sort of make a what is this called? I don't have a pattern, I'm not following a pattern. And I think I'm just gonna kind of go ahead with it. Here is my box of junk. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Hook. Line. Sinker. Tonight, I'm just gonna focus on the hat part. Starting with a circle. Gonna do like a magic circle. Also, this is not a tutorial. I'm just a girl. Crocheting this right now sort of makes me think like maybe in 20 or so years I'll be making costumes for my kids or something. I don't know why this is sort of making me feel a little existential, but it makes me think about how things won't always be the way they are right now. I have a lot of hope towards the future. At least now I do. I like to think I'd be married, have a house, kids, but for all that, I ideally would like to be in a better place physically, mentally, financially. I know all of those things won't ever be perfectly aligned, but I think the hope is definitely to be in a place better than what it currently is. Which is not to say I don't like my current situation, nor is it bad. Not at all. If anything, my life right now is what a past version of me would dream about having. I need it to wrap like here. I'm trying to extend it. So once I get to the crown, I'm gonna bring it down. Oh, we got bars. I think that's pretty interesting. Versions of you having different dreams and aspirations at different points in your life, a sort of never ending pursuit of a moving target. But I think where catharsis lies, it actually isn't hitting the bullseye. Yay. We've got the crown now. And I think I'm gonna retire for the night because I gotta get to work tomorrow. Yo. Hey, just get off work? Yeah. Dude, the day I had today, <laughs> it is not my day. Uh, you wanna food? Every time I get in the door, I'm like praying. I'm like, okay, this is a different day. Let's hope that it's not like yesterday. <laughs> you know, my wish came true. Mm -hmm. I should have been more specific because it was different. Okay. I eat, every day was worse. <laughs> so I was getting bodied left and right. Walk-ins, emails. Bus, another club. Another club. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, like walking back, like I felt like crying. <gasps> I feel like crying now. The moment I felt that sting, I just had to. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah. I can't, not over this. Kiana's like, do you need help? Like, what do you want us to do? We can like try to do something. And I'm like, wait a minute. You can't. That's an option. <laughs> and I was telling them, like, I think that's just like the el like the yeah. older sister in me that is like, that's not an option. Like, yeah. I just have to help myself. Mm -hmm. I just have to figure it out myself, which I know it's not like a thing. And I know it's one of my pain points that I need to address. I'm standing off to the side and there's people getting off the buses. I'm like, okay, there's plenty of space in front of me. Yeah. This girl pushes me. She shoves me. To the point that I stagger into someone else. And now I'm like, this man was built like a California Redwood. This man was so tall. <laughs> Do you know what those trees are? Yeah, wait. And that was literally the last straw. The last straw. It there was, was any straws? And it was a paper straw. <laughs> <laughs> it was dissolving. Dude, the food came and oh. I forgot about it. Damn, I got too lost in my own story. It was like a weird feeling today because while I 
was going through it mm -hmm. and I felt like I didn't have like a moment to catch my breath. Yeah. I was also having such a great time, like with my coworkers. Mm -hmm. Anytime I did get to sit coworkers down. Coworkers make it 10 times dude, better. We were laughing our asses off about whatever, whatever it was, mm -hmm. just like random stuff. And it's one of those things I'm like very, very grateful for, even though today is a, is a prime example of like, it's not always going to be like a great day. Mm -hmm. I think our current team, it clicks so well. Yeah. And you notice like a huge difference when things are good. Like you want to hold on to as much of that as possible. Mm -hmm. And when things are bad, you want that to go as fast as possible. How can I find an in-between where it's like, I can still be content and not wishing for either or. Mm -hmm. When things are going well, do you get that looming feeling? It's kind of like, things are great, but how long do I have until it's not? a few days later i am just checking in on where we're at here this is what we currently have i'm gonna stop here i'm gonna mark two little pins here there's a poem by emily dickinson and it opens with we grow accustomed to the dark when light is put away I think that sort of explains this particular kind of anxiety when things feel like they're going so well. And right now, things are going well. But what actually makes the good days good? Okay, this is what we have now. I've done this portion here. Next step is to do this bit, like here. All right, strap is done. I just need to attach this here and I'm just joining the two ends now. <gasps> just need to cut it. <gasps> oh my God. Okay, I feel great. I look great. We're almost there. This was the hard part. I think. Like I said in the beginning, my life right now is what a past me would have dreamt of, but it's not exactly how I imagined I'd feel achieving my goals. It's as if I was expecting it to fix something in me. There was no holy shit, I got what I've been working so hard for kind of moment. Maybe it had been more subtle, which is kind of funny how short and fleeting that sense of satisfaction can be if it's even acknowledged in the first place. I made this metal armature for the ears because I need them to stand up like this. And now I'm just gonna crochet a triangle shape to fit this and have this towards the outside so that it stands. When there's so much anticipation and emphasis around that moment, I mean, it is the main driving force that keeps you in the pursuit of it, whatever it may be for you. Because that's the only way to justify the immense buildup, right? And yet, what felt like such a long, I don't even know if I'll ever get there kind of journey is eventually replaced by a newer, shinier, bigger goal. One that's got all the novelty of never being achieved by me. Yeah. Do you know where the glue gun is? Forgotten was the previous thing that promised more than it could actually deliver. Just an anticlimax. I stayed up until 4 a.m. last night just crocheting 
this took me about uh, five episodes of Dream Academy. I kind of just freehanded these, went in circles and added like the longer crochet stitches at the areas where I wanted to extend a little. Ears, this is what they look like. They're gonna fold in a little bit like this. Something like that. I did these really quickly. The gray horns, kind of like this. I stuffed them a little bit with some extra yarn that I had. It's pink inside, which you can kind of see. The other crochet thing we need to do is the wings. It's easy for the extremes of life, whether that's the highs or the lows, to be the most memorable. Picture a graph going all the way up and then all the way down. I'm finding that I'm the most present when I'm on one of those peaks. These are done, and I'm actually pretty happy with how they came out. It was a struggle at first. But I'm learning that even at those peaks, it's not a guarantee of a climax or a huge sense of relief. So I think instead of anticipating something to only come out at those specific moments, I'm trying to find smaller, more subtle moments in the mundane. <gasps> what the fuck? It's so cute as is though. Aww. I have to unchickenize it. It's almost a shame. And the more I practice this, I find that the bad days aren't so bad. I still cherish the good days the same. It's kind of hard not to. But it also comes with accepting that every day will have a bit of both and that inconsistency feels less intimidating. And as I extend that sentiment with myself in my own pursuits, whether I have a change of heart or declare that I will die on that hill, I remind myself that the celebration shouldn't be just for the achievement of those pursuits, but the pursuit itself. <laughs>